Welcome to Google Chrome. Google Chrome offers a lot of cool features that you can take advantage of, especially if you customize it with extra extensions. And in this video, I want to show you some of my favorite extensions, so hopefully you can enjoy Google Chrome as much as I do. So here's the extension tab, and to get to the extension tab, all you have to do is go to this uh, wrench, go to Tools, and then click Extension, and it'll open this window. Here are some of the extensions I have. I have Adblock Plus for Google Chrome, and it's in the beta. And um, in order to get extensions like I do, what you have to do is you have to go and click Get More Extensions, and you'll see it right here. You'll just type in, as I did right here, Adblock Plus for Google Chrome. And here it is. You just download that by clicking this and clicking install. Now, once you install, you basically repeat this procedure for all the other add ons I've listed. I'll probably include uh, the links to them. So, uh, fear not. Anyway, uh, once you install them, you have to customize a few of them. And I'll show you the customizations I have, and hopefully, you'll enjoy them as much as I do. Here we go. So Adblock Plus. Once you get this, uh, some of the settings you have to do is uh, in the filter list. To get to the settings, you basically go to any website, and here's this little red box. Click that. And click Options. And right here is the Options menu. So um, here is the the subscriptions list, and this is basically defining what to block. Now. Uh, there's a lot more advertisements out there now, especially with the web expanding at the rate it is. So here's some extra subscriptions I've added. So you just basically copy these and you paste them in this box and click add URL. And that will let you block more things. It will automatically update so you don't have to worry too much about that. Once you do this, um, you'll have fewer ads and it will be much more safer browsing for you so after that the second extension if you like manga is this extension right here uh, all manga readers pretty good you can see a really nice window right here and it will show you the mangas that you have to read if you've already read them you can click uh, I've read them all and that'll be cool now Another cool extension is Chrome Toolbox by Google. This allows you to basically zoom in on any image you want. At the same time, you can even set the image as your wallpaper. Now, this is a video, but you have to enable JavaScript to make it work. And the video will play after a while. I want it to load. So I'm probably going to refresh the page. Another cool thing with this is it lets you get a video standalone player so if I play this here's the video as it's playing I go to the top edge of the thing and there's this box that comes up if I click it what it does is it makes a small window a standalone player that ultimately lets you uh, play the small video as you're doing your work so maybe you have like word open and you're uh, working on something you can easily control the playback and it's a really useful feature uh, that's with Chrome Toolbox it only works for Windows though so if you don't have Windows sorry another cool feature oh when you close the window it'll make it into a big window so don't be afraid to close it um, Docs PDF Viewer by Google so you can easily view your uh, PDFs. This is something you have to change the options for as well. Make sure you include PDFs. Uh, this is really helpful when you want to, you know, view a PDF, but you don't want to download it and then view it. Maybe just for ease. Ghost Tree is a fantastic plugin, and it's all about privacy. Protect your privacy. Here are some of the best configurations I have for Ghost Tree. Don't take uh, Ghost Rank. Make sure your, I mean, alert bubbles are that, and they're all right. I don't really like them though. Um, make sure you do auto update and enable blocking. Then you just go here and block all of them. 
save your settings and you're good to go you want to get Google Dictionary because it's one of the fantastic features of Google Chrome because it, it looks really sleek now uh, let's go back here here is an article and let's say you find a word this is probably going to be the Wall Street Journal or you find a word that you don't understand double click it and it will give you the definition now you can also go on here and if you click that it will give you further definitions so maybe this definition wasn't the right one it will give you further definitions now this actually has a feature where uh, you can click it this is only in the New York Times however and uh, you click it and it will give you the definition but it opens a small window in this you just double click and it gives you a small pop up which is really cool alright another cool uh, thing you should get in Google Chrome is iReader which is a really cool um, application or plugin and here's what it looks like uh, you can't see the whole window because of the cam studio I'm recording this with but it basically strips out all the images if you want the images you can enable them but it makes it a really nice font and format so you can easily read and um, it's definitely a cool thing to check out because it makes doing homework easier uh, if you want to look at the definition it won't open the pop-up window here you'll have to go and click this and you know maybe copy and paste it in there so that's something that's annoying hopefully that will be taken care of in the future keep my opt-outs is another privacy plugin it makes it so that uh, different websites can't really track uh, what you click and so it's a really cool thing uh, definitely worth the effort screen capture is another great uh, thing a plugin that basically lets you capture the whole screen it's this icon right here just click it and it'll say capture whole page it'll go through the whole page and here it is you know it'll make this menu where you can add ed edits and you can save and copy and close so here I'm gonna make some text make a box and just write all over the paper like hello and different stuff you can make lines like that is not cool or something I don't know whatever you want you save it and you'll save it as a PNG file right on your desktop and you can just email this to someone and it's useful in that sense you just close out when you're done those are some of the features. Other add-ons that I didn't install are Read It Later, which is a fantastic add-on that lets you tag a page to be read later. Anyway, Google Chrome is a fast browser and has some advantages over Firefox, like the ones I showed you. Uh, Firefox doesn't have that, you know, um, small text box that is one of the cool features that Google Chrome has if you extend it so uh, definitely check out Google Chrome it's more for students who want uh, fast browsing and uh, uh, you know stuff that's easy to navigate and looks good so check it out thanks for watching